Jesus calls the first disciples. What would you say makes a good teacher? Or what kind of person would you like to have as a boss? I'm sure some of the things you'd say is that a teacher should know their subject very well. Patience and a gift for explaining would also be good. And you'd almost definitely want a boss to be at least fair. Kind and generous would be an added bonus too. Today we are going to see Jesus as all these good things and more. We see him first at the shore of the Sea of Galilee. Large crowds have gathered to listen to him teach. People have heard that he teaches and explains things that they need to know. He sees two boats at the shore belonging to fishermen. He asks Simon, one of the fishermen, if he'd let him come on board so his voice can reach everyone on the shore. This is an excellent idea. When he had finished teaching, he tells Simon to cast his net into the sea. Simon doesn't want to because he's been fishing all night and hasn't caught a thing. But because he has so much respect for Jesus, he agrees to do so. Now Simon has a wonderful surprise. The net is suddenly so full of fish that his boat begins to sink. He calls out to his partners in the other boat to help. Soon, both boats have a huge catch of fish. Wonderfully, their nets don't break, even though all those fish must have been very heavy. Simon's amazed. He knows this is a miracle. He knows Jesus is a very special man from God himself. Suddenly, he's aware of his own sin because he's with this holy man, Jesus. He doesn't think he's worthy to be with Jesus. But Jesus is gracious and tells him not to be afraid. Jesus is going to make him a fisher of men. He'll lead thousands of people to God while on earth and even afterwards. Jesus tells Simon he will call him Peter from now on. He invites him and his partners to come along with him. They all agree and go with him at once. We can see from this story that Jesus is a most able teacher. He really did and still does know the way to heaven. In fact, he tells us he is in fact the way. We also see that he is the best boss in all the world. He is gracious and so very kind to Simon. He is willing to see past his sin. He's also extremely generous. The fishermen have caught so many fish that when they are sold at the market, the money will provide for their families while they are away with the Lord Jesus. I said earlier that Jesus saw past Simon Peter's sin, but he could only do this because Jesus knew that in just three years' time, Jesus would pay for his sin on the cross, and not only for Peter's, but for everyone who will turn to him in repentance and faith. A truly glorious teacher and Lord. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost, Luke 19, verse 10. I can close